how can you build on that going forward and keep that multiple goals per game? I guess just keep those images of scoring in our minds and being able to play those back before each game so we can keep that mentality and we just need to keep putting goals in the back of the net. At one point when it was 4-2 to two with about maybe 12 minutes left before Holly scored, I heard you yell out something like, we're still going to win this game. Obviously, with the pace of the game, the way it was playing out, so many shot attempts, I could see I could feel that way. But is that just common in every game, that sort of belief that it's never over? Yeah, I mean, it has to be. Um, you know, I've been in games, both sides of it, winning and losing, where the goal is literally scored in the last five seconds of stoppage time. Um, it's just the way it is. Uh, you got to be focused. you got to be dialed in every second of the game. And the first five and the last five just seem to be the time period where people have mental lapse. And we have to learn to not be the team that does that. I think we had that when we came out in the first 10 minutes, and we had a huge mental lapse. And throughout the game, we also had on set pieces, we had mental lapses as well, just not marking, simple things like that. And I think the key is that we have to stay focused 90 minutes. Everyone on the bench, on the field, we're all focused. We're all helping each other be engaged. And yeah, we always have to believe that we win, no matter who we're playing what the score is, what minutes left, we can still win a game. We have the ability and the talent to do so. Home and away weekend on tap. Um, Northern Illinois, another first-time opponent, but somebody from the Midwest. And then Kansas should be a good barometer game. Without a doubt. You know, I, uh, I experienced Northern Illinois when I was with uh, Wright State, who we played them several years in a row, um, and uh, spent plenty of time there for ODP uh, um, regional camp. So uh, probably... Um, a good uh, six or seven months of my life over the last 15 years has been spent in Northern Illinois. So, uh, you, know, you know, I think they've got a, a result this last weekend as well. And so, um, you know, it'll be, it's a task force in that we've got to rebound from Sunday's result and then, uh, you know, going on the road for the first time. And we've got to certainly be a better team on the road than we found ourselves being this last year. I think our depth will um, provide um, some of that. I think we're, we're a vastly improved team as well. Our ability to keep the ball means we don't spend as much time defending. We've just got to be able to do so on a, someone else's pitch. Uh, but certainly I think Kansas um, being the, you know, a Big 12 team will be a good barometer and a test and really uh, cap off this first four, you know, first 20% or 25% of the, uh, the season. Um, so going forward, NIU and Kansas, do you think, do you expect to be spending more time up in that kind of spot versus um, You know, I don't really know. It all depends on how injuries players shake out that day. Um, but wherever I do play... You know, I'll be ready to fulfill that role. And I think that even no matter where I'm playing, center back, outside back, outside attacking mid, there's opportunities to get involved in the attack, to get those services off. And if not me, at least uh, vocally, I can encourage players to be in the right position or to do certain things with the ball. So I definitely think that moving forward, we're going to continue to attack like we did in the last 20 minutes of that game on Sunday. Well, we uh, addressed the uh, goals that we gave up off of set pieces today. Mm -hmm. On Monday's our fitness day, so uh, you know it's really trying to get the, the players that play a lot over the weekend a third hard physical um, day that they uh, really top off their fitness. For the young ladies that don't play much over the weekend, it's really their way to stay fit. So given the opportunity to step into a game uh, next weekend, they'll be prepared for that. Um, today we spent um, probably about 45 minutes to an hour working on set pieces, both attacking and defending set pieces. It's one of the area that I felt Xavier was probably um, maybe about a week in front of us um, in regards to uh, the number of set pieces and like uh, options that they had running off of stuff. At the same time, uh, I felt like the uh, time that we put in over the course of preseason in regards to our play, the actual run of play, you know, we were um, probably a couple weeks ahead of where they were. Um, unfortunately, we didn't score the goals in the run play like we needed to, um, and we were punished off of the two set pieces. So if we can shore things up um, on that end and ensure that uh, we've got the organization, we've got uh, spaces marked well and players marked well, we can eliminate uh, you know, leaking a goal here or there um, that really sets you on the back foot and makes you chase a game. Over the rest of the uh, week, you know, we're going to work on some defensive, um, our, our back line, and uh, see if we can work another player or two just to maybe release someone up into the midfield and alter some options. You saw some of that over the course of the game on Sunday with us, um, pushing Pollitt forward and pushing Holly Gregory forward. And finally, um, you know, work on some attacking patterns and everything because I think that's probably the strength of our team and we definitely want to come out and uh, play on the front foot and be the best team that we can be.
playing twice a weekend, Friday, Sunday is the usual college routine and schedule. Are, are you pretty accustomed to that? Was that normal for the club and high school level? Um, not really. High school we played mostly like, I would say like Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So it was three games in a week, but then again, they were way less intense and more spread out. And um, the practices now are a lot more intense too. So it's like you're, we're busting our butts on Monday and then come Tuesday is still hard. Wednesday, Thursday is more recovery. Friday, obviously, is going to be really intense. Saturday, you just have to rehydrate and get all your, get your legs back in you. And Sunday, again, it's another hard game, and it's always hard on Sunday. So it's definitely a big adjustment, and I'm just going to have to get used to it, I guess. How Maddie's come on the team, already made a big impact her first couple games, who? Um, yeah, I mean, we've all noticed it. Maddie is definitely a big impact for us right off the bat. She came in fit. She got hurt right away, but she bounced back. Um... She's just, she keeps scoring, and that's what we need as a freshman, and we need her to keep learning. And as a senior um, forward, I'm trying to teach her as much as I can, trying to work with her, because she's going to go a lot farther than this, and this is just the beginning for her. Um, Maddie Williams can be great. She can be a great player. You know, she's got the potential um, to really uh, be one of the leading scorers in the country. She, she finishes like few other players do. She can finish left and right footed. She can finish with her head. She can finish with flicks. She can hit the ball for power. She can place the ball with power. Um, she's calm in front of the box. She gets herself faced up. She's not put off by a defender or two being in. She can shoot through the windows and she's got the pace and quickness. She keeps herself alive in the box. All of those things make for a great goal scorer. You know, you saw that three goals in the first two games of her uh, collegiate career. The one was a scrimmage. Um, but really, she combines both quickness and pace uh, along with, a, I think, a, a creative aplomb on the ball, whether she's willing to flick. She's willing to combine, which gives her more time and space because defenders oftentimes step to her. She's laying a ball off. And I think, you know, her and uh, Hadley Stewart have found a good, com you know, complementary um, pairing there for each other. They, you got the work, you got the, the technical talent, and they both look to shoot the ball. So I think, you know, she benefits, I think, from some of uh, Hadley drawing an extra defender or two to her. Um, but her, she can place, she can, you know, shoot two touch, she can shin it, finish first time. So, um, you know, she's kind of well-rounded already as a finisher.